Hello students, we're gonna solve this question and we're gonna get started reading. Jocelyn bought three blouses for $15 each, one sweater for $55, and four pairs of pants for $28 each. She wrote an expression for this situation. Which expression is correct? Let's get started underlining important information. She bought three blouses for $15 each. She bought one sweater for $55. And then finally, she bought four pairs of pants for $28 each. Now it says she wrote an expression for this situation. Which expression is correct? We did underline, we box the question, and now we're going to do elaborate. Since I have to match the situation with all the different expressions in the choices, I'm going to make a picture of this situation to see what's going on. With this picture, I'm trying to represent the situation that we have on the top. The blouses, I use a blue color for identifying the number of blouses and the price. Each of these is 15. For the sweater, I did it in yellow, so this one is going to say... 55. I'm gonna put this in yellow and I'm gonna put black on top of it. This is gonna be 55. And then we got the pants and those are 28 each. I'm gonna put that in orange. 28 each. So that means how many times do we have to repeat the 28? One, two, three, four times, right? And the blouses, one, two, three. And the sweater is just one time. So if I want to have an expression for this situation, I will have to say, uh, you want to repeat three times? What number? The 15. You see that, guys? This three represents these three blouses, and the 15 is the value that is being repeated. Then also, we will have to say that we are repeating four times what value? The 28. That's a unit price for each of the pants. And then also... How many sweaters do we have? Just one. So then that would be 55 just once. Based on the picture, we can tell this is the expression that represents the situation. Now I'm going to try to see which of the choices represent the situation as we have in this highlighted section. See what's going on with each of the choices. So here for letter A, what I noticed with letter A is that they are applying distributive property. So that three is multiplying each of the numbers. That three multiplies 15, that's gonna be three times 15. You see that, guys? Then we have the plus sign, plus. Then the three distributes with 55. Three times 55, we have a plus behind. And then the four multiplies 28, great. Well, the three times 55, it matches. But on the 55, we know that that needs to be only once. You see, the 55 happens only once. And on choice A, they have three. So A is not going to work. Great. Now we're going to do choice B. In choice B, this is what's happening. They have a 55. And that is going to multiply. But then the 3 is doing distribution with the 15 and then with this 2. So in reality, this 55 is going to multiply, I'm going to put the parentheses, the 3 times the 15 plus, this is a plus, the 4 times the 28. And I'm going to check this information. 3 times 15, well, that's going to happen. 4 times the 28, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, we have 428 also. This is going to happen. But then look, this 55 in front means that at the end, this 55 is going to repeat that, tri that 3 times 15, 55 times. And we cannot repeat the number 15 
three times and then 55 more times because we we only we only have three times the 15 because we only have three blouses therefore choice b cannot be your answer now we're gonna look at choice c for choice c what's happening here is in the parentheses they have 3 times 15, okay, and then they have the 55 one time. Then all that is going to be repeated four times, and then at the end they're going to be adding 28. If we have this 4 outside, what it means is this 4 here is going to repeat this three times and then 15 times and let's look into that this 15 here is being repeated three times that should be okay because we have three blouses and each blouse is 50 is 15 but then guys this four outside is gonna repeat the three four times what is 4 times 3? 12. So in this expression, they're going to repeat 12 times the 15, but the 15 can be repeated only 3 times. So you see, this is not working. Also here, look what's happening. The 4 multiplies the 55. So this expression represents that they're going to have 4 times the 55, but the 55 can be only once because we have only one sweater here. So C is not working. Now let's check what's going to happen with letter D. I'm going to do this in this column. So here I'm going to put T. And for letter D, uh, they have 55. Then they add the plus. Then they have 3 times the 15. Then they have the plus and then 4 times the 28. Let's see what happens. On this 55, should be like this one here. And in my picture, how many times do you see the 55? Only once with the sweater, great. And here there's no number in front, so it's not being repeated any more times. So it looks okay. Now let's look at the 15s. On this expression, that 3 multiplied the 15 and there's nothing more numbers in front of a parenthesis so then that's it it's only been repeated three times that works because I have three 15s in my picture and finally because this is plus they are repeating four times at 28 and then look guys this is one time two times three times four times so this number matches and this is the value that is supposed to be repeated so no, our answer is going to be letter D. Awesome, guys. Let me highlight this and let me highlight this. Great job.